races across Missouri. Oh my God, I'm scared to death. Her gas pedal is stuck. I'm coming up with a bunch of cars. I'm so scared. She hits the brakes. But with the 175 horsepower engine redlining at 7,000 RPMs, the brakes do nothing to slow the SUV. Police converge, hoping to warn other drivers ahead. But with speeds nearing 120, they struggle to even keep pace. It's time to buckle up. Grab the wheel and see if you have what it takes to steer clear of certain death. What would you do? A. Use the emergency brake and steer onto the shoulder. B. Jam the car into neutral. Or C. Turn off the engine. So, what would you do? With your accelerator stuck and your brake pedal useless, you might choose to engage the emergency brake and steer onto the shoulder to slow your momentum. Engaging the e-brake at normal speeds can make the rear wheels lock up, sending a driver into a dangerous fishtail. And you're going over 110. Even if you manage to maintain control, trying to use the rough terrain of the shoulder will only make a bad problem worse. With your car speeding out of control, you could turn off the engine and try to steer it to safety. But is this really your best move? Turn off the ignition, and the steering wheel could lock. As you decelerate, you'd be unable to change direction. If you chose to turn off your engine, you'd be locking in your fate. So, what should you do? The best thing to do is jam the car into neutral. By disengaging the transmission, you disconnect the gears that join the motor to the axles. Even though your engine will continue to race out of control by putting the car in neutral, you've cut off its ability to accelerate your vehicle forward. Apply firm, steady pressure to the brakes. With the engine no longer powering the drive shaft, the vehicle's brake system can now slow the SUV allowing you to bring this deadly ordeal to an end.